sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love The danger I've been dreaming of Sweet sixteen and bold as love KK Witchy, hope you guys are doing good today. Um, so I saw a tag video that I believe Miss, hold on, give me one minute and I'll pull it up. Um, Athena Beth Black did, and also I believe Miss Roller Derby Witch did too, and I'll link both those um, channels down below my channel for you guys to find. And it's the Grumpy Witch Tag, and I thought it's really fun because I mean. Everybody has their likes and dislikes, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of share my dislikes about, uh, you know, the practice and stuff like that. So, I'll link the questions down below. That way, it's a lot easier to find. My opinion is a lot easier when people do that because then I'm like, you. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So, the first question is, you'll have to bear with me because technology hates me. So it's called the Grumpy Witch Tag. The first question, do you have a least favorite time of the year magically? Yes, I do. And um, that would be winter. I freeze my ass off during winter. Um, I'm not a very, I'm not a very warm-blooded person anyway. So like, I step outside, I'm like, <laughs> like I can't collect anything when it's winter time for me. Like, I freeze to death. I have to carry a heater everywhere I go. I have to carry a blanket with me everywhere I go because I just freeze to death. Everybody's like, you got my wire? And I'm like, no, I just, I hate winter time. I'm more of a summer person. I just, winter does not connect with me at all. Like I said, freeze my ass off. And I just feel kind of down during the winter time, if that makes sense. And I don't know if it's where everything's dormant and I'm just kind of the same way. But I swear, I swear that some humans should have been um, hibernating around winter time. I still believe that. So number two, is there an herb that you don't like working with or never seems to work in your practice? Uh, yes, I have. Um, there's actually two that I don't really work with, uh, well with. And one's Bishop's Weed. I believe I did a video on it. I don't work well at all with that just because I don't find, um, usually, I do have it on my shelf, but when I decide to use it, I usually pick different herbs to use it just because, you know, some herbs have the same properties um, and that I care more for than <laughs> Bishop's Weed. And also Penny Royal, I don't work well with that one either. Um, they're both herb videos that I've done, I believe, on my channel, on my herbs list. You can go check them out if you want to, but I never really work well with them. Um, just again, I don't really, I don't know. I mean, some things I use that for just because I feel like it needs that. Stop! I'm sorry, my cat's like trying to beat up my dogs and... <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't really work well with them. I prefer other things when using things for what they're used for. That makes any sense. But yeah, I've done videos on, I think, both them herbs on my channel. Okay, number three. Is there a stone or crystal that you don't like working with or never seems to add anything to your practice? Um, yes, there is. Uh, believe it or not, I am actually not a fan of clear quartz. Yep, I said it. <laughs> and it's not necessarily that I don't, I just don't get anything from it, if that makes any sense. Like most crystals and stuff, I can feel energy from it. I can't feel anything at all from clear quartz. Anything. I can't feel anything. And I don't know if it's where it's one of them stones where you have to program it or if it's just um, something with me and my stone just don't. We just don't connect. Like, I do have clear quartz, but again, I don't feel anything from it. And I've tried, you know, 
other people's clear quartz. I still don't feel anything from them. So it may be something for me, but I don't know. I just don't connect well with them. I mean, it don't like hurt me or anything, but I just don't feel anything from them. So, yeah. <sighs> Believe it or not, I don't like clear quartz. Okay, number four. Is there anything that bothers you about your deity or your practice? Um... Not that I can say right now. Um, the deity I'm working with right now, I'm just now starting to learn more about him, and I really don't want to offend him just quite yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> listen to me, just quite yet. <laughs> and uh, as far as my practice, not really. Um, no, I mean, not really. Um, I just, uh, I mean, I have stages where I feel like I, I can go, like, a lot with practicing, and then I have some days where I just can't and just save my energy for different things, but, I mean, there's nothing really I, that would bother me, because if it did bother me, I would try to change it, if that makes sense, makes sense, but as far as that question, no, nothing really bothers me about my practice or my deity. So, yep. Number five, what do you do when a spell doesn't work? So, um, I reabsorb it. If a spell don't work for me, I reabsorb it the way it, or make it work in a way or maybe try to add things more. Um, because I'm a very I'm a very observant person. Like if things don't really work out like it should, or if I need to figure out a different way to do things, I usually will do that. If the spell don't work, then I try um, different ways. If that makes sense. Like if I have a problem with the person, um, which I really don't do negative workings against people, just because it's not really my thing. But I mean. I'm going to use that as an example. If I have a problem with somebody and they won't shut up or whatever, I'm just going to go and ask that person to please be quiet and whatever problem you have with me, um, tell me. So, if spell don't work, I look at different ways to get my outcome, if that makes sense. Have you ever done a meditation or astral work that did nothing for you? Um, not really. Meditation, um, when I was younger, I was able to med Now, I have noticed that when I was younger, I could meditate a lot and be completely fine with it. Now, I have to watch them... Um, guided meditations because I can't I can't bring myself to calm down now um, not like I used to I used to be very very relaxed now I'm just kind of I think my anxiety's gotten a little bit worse if that makes sense but um, now I have to listen to the guided meditations on YouTube for me to even calm down and make myself meditate if that made sense makes sense but as far as any meditation that hasn't done anything for me, no, not really. Um, a lot of the ones now, like again, when I was younger, I could meditate, put me anywhere and I could probably meditate. But now that I'm older and stuff like that, I'm just, I can't do that anymore. Um, again, I have to make myself sit down and meditate and kind of do the guided meditation for them to walk me through it, just because I just kind of, you know, that makes any sense. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. So, as far as that astral work, not really, because when I need, I don't really astral travel just anywhere and everywhere. Um, I only do it do it when something is wrong. If that makes sense. Um, like, let's say something negative is in the house and I go on about my day and not really notice it or anything like that. I'll have one of them astro 
like I think I'm awake and I'm here and whatever's there will show itself. So that's the only time I astro travel really. Okay, the next question. Um, what question was on? Oh, I was on six. You'll have to forgive me. I'm, my counting's off. <laughs> Number seven, is there an element that you, that just doesn't work for you? Fire, actually. I cannot, something about fire, I just have a hard time with. I also have problems with air, though, too. So, it's like, I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> Although, you guys are watching, my channel is probably just like, yeah, we knew you were weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as that per se, um, I have problems with fire. I just never really connected with fire. Um, I also have problems with air though. So, uh, but I am working on fire this coming up go round because the deity I am working with, he's known as fire God. So, well, part of that makes sense of. He's not really a fire god, but they put him in that category. So, we're not really... That was backing it. Backing this going on. So, we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't connect with them two elements. Earth and water. Love. I can get along great with them. But what's funny is my zodiac sign supposed to have... You know how it's supposed to have the element... Air is supposed to be like two of my elements. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I just don't connect. <laughs> just do not connect. <laughs> so, number eight, how do you get out of a witchy rut? Um, I usually go back and look at my YouTube videos, if that makes sense. And it kind of pulls me out of that rut. Um, kind of pulls me out of that dark place in a way. Because I'm just kind of, you know. Um, but yeah. I look at mine. Then I look at a couple others when I started watching um, YouTube. About how they kind of inspired me to go on this path. I definitely check them out again. And then I remember why I'm doing what I'm doing, or if doing what I'm doing, then I kind of analyze again, if, if doing what I'm doing, um, this is still work for me, you know, um, so I kind of reabsorb too, in a way, but yeah, that's how I get out of my witchy rut. How do you deal with life getting in the way of your practice? Um, to me, it is what it is. Uh, your everyday life and your witchy life can kind of be the same thing, I think. But, it, you know, I get it. It's hard when you got kids and stuff, especially with my, um, he's getting ready to turn two. Yeah, two years old. But, yeah, he's getting ready to turn two. And um, the older you get, you know, um, do what you can. Like, if they're napping or showering or whatever they're doing, um, I definitely find time to practice then. Especially if there's some things that need to be done. But yeah, definitely practice when I can between them napping or if they're at grandma and grandpa's or, you know, things of that sort. So, when you have. Okay, sorry. When you have all of these negative feelings about your practice, what do you do? Um, and this one is, I believe, the last question. Yes. Number 10, the last question. Uh, again, I reevaluate uh, re of the path that I'm on and stuff like that. Um, the older I'm getting, um, I'm not going to lie, everybody evolves, everybody changes. Uh, sometimes what you thought then don't apply now, and you kind of... I kind of reevaluate myself um, on again how does is this working for me do I need to um, what do I need to do now um, things of that sorts like uh, 
you know, and I just kind of reabsorb everything. You know, and then I think, you know, doing what I'm doing now, is it right for me? Or, you know, and that's when I bring out my tarot cards and my pendulum. Um, and they really, they both really help me out. And spitting. <laughs> spitting. <laughs> Sorry. I hope I didn't just spit on you guys. But, I was like, but yeah, I reevaluate. I go, does this work for me? Um, if it does, what do I need to improve on? Um, if I need to improve on anything, if not, I'll get over it. <laughs> that makes sense. And then I'll be back to, woo, you know. So it's just, yeah, it's that. So, yeah, I kind of reevaluate everything. Uh, but yeah, if, and then I think, well, why am I having these negative feelings? You know, what's bringing this out? Um, what do I disagree with? What, you know, I just think like that. I'm a very rational thinker, too. So that really, it bothers my brain. <laughs> Yeah, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys are interested, I'd love to see a video on what um, the grumpy witch tag, what you kind of disagree with in the practice and such, um, or about these questions, if that makes any sense. So, love to hear from y'all. Um, again, it's nice to bring out that balance side that not everybody agrees with, you know, such. So, Thank you guys for watching. Many blessings, love and light, all that goodness.